Lionel Araujo. Okay. Oh, look, we have identical ratings. Um, let's see. Played a Sicilian last time. How about a um, an Alejans? An Alejans defense. Okay, he may plays the main move there. And um, so, and start right away trying to undermine the center. And white chases the knight around. This is a very typical way of playing. That's how I play myself with white and with the exchange. So I'm, I'm interested in this position. There's also people who play this over the board uh, against me when I have white and they have black. And um, I'm just interested in finding out the right strategies for black here because somehow also for white <laughs> so i'll be interested in the postmortem <laughs> because somehow i don't uh well the player at the club who plays this there's a couple of them in there and they're pretty strong players so i don't usually do that well somehow even though this position ought to be good for white so i think one of the ideas here is to put pressure on these pawns so that's interesting. If I take, does he take back with a pawn? Because his bishop is defending c. The bishop is defending c um, c4, as well as the knight. Let's see. Okay, maybe is this okay? Is there is there a trick here? <laughs> I always defend that pawn <clears throat> when I get into this position. Um, okay, let's see if I can get castled here and get out of the center quickly. Okay, queen there, yeah. Looks at this pawn, this pawn, and my knight. So I think I just have to drop back. And well, we'll see. If he plays bishop h4, I think I can just castle. If he does there, yeah. So he's like looking for ways to uh, keep me keep me occupied, keep me from castling. A logical, a logical plan from white there. But this knight ended up on an okay square, I think. And he's blocked his queen's view of f7, so the, the threat to f7 is not a problem anymore. The long-term problem, I guess, is uh, I'll have a weakness on c7, and I have to figure out how to get this uh, knight. The knight on um, b6 here is not really participating in the game so much. Um, if he just wants to trade, though, this should be good for me, shouldn't it? He does. He is keeping me from castling, I have to admit. <laughs> okay, so he gave up on that. Uh, let's castle. Ah, that was his idea. I guess he wanted to get back in a position to defend his bishop. Okay, let's set up a little tactic here again. Um, so I'm thinking knight takes bishop, queen takes, and he's going to take my bishop. Well, knight takes bishop with check, queen takes bishop here, or knight takes pawn. Yeah, knight takes pawn defends my bishop. So, you know, it looks like he's ganging up here, but if he takes there, I take back with the knight. Uh, other, I have to worry about other knight discoveries because my knight is loose on d5. So where else can the knight go? Can go here, hitting my queen, but I take and I'm defending the knight. Here, same idea. Here I take back. Here I take the knight. Here I move my knight. Here, here, or here, I take his knight. 
Yes, I think I can take there. <laughs> he resigned. <laughs> well, let's see. I'll save this game. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's worth looking at. See you guys later. Bye.